Hello all, in this particular tutorial we will learn how to perform SQL Server Backup and Restore or in other words how to restore a .bak file. The, there are multiple options of taking the backup. One of the options is you can use the GUI. So you can right click on the database, go to the task, click on this particular backup and then you will be able to take the backup or you can run a simple command backup database test this is your name of the database to disk and this is the location and this is the name of your backup file so using this particular utility either using this particular utility or either using this particular utility we are going to generate a test.bak file by default or sql server uses .bak format the restore options we have multiple options again you can either use the sms gui option you can right click on the database, go to the task, click on restore and you can choose the database or you can use the command line. So you can use the alter database test set single. So first you will set the database in single user mode and then you will use the restore database from disk, the name of your backup, loc the location of your backup along with the name of your backup file with replace option. Now that we have seen, let's go ahead and here I got a test database. Let's take a look if we have any backup for this particular database and you can see this particular database last backup and how did I go there? I right click on the database, click on the properties and I said backup, last database backup is none, log backup is none. Let's go ahead and create a table called employee. So in the test database, we are going to create an employee. So if I now go to the test table, test database and if I click on the employee, you can see there is a table called employee and if I say select top 10,000 rows, you can see I'm selecting from employee table and there are no records in this particular database. So this particular database has this particular employee table in this test database do not have any records. Let me close this. Let me close this. And now what we are going to do is we are going to insert some records. So let's first select the records and you can see we do not have any records. Let's insert two employees in our organization. One is called rock and one is called water. So now we have got rock and water who have joined our organization. So these two employees have joined our organization. So now what we'll do is like we will, we can take the backup using this option. So this is a very simple command, backup database, name of your database to disk location and the backup file. This is one option. If you don't want to use, if you don't like this particular option, you can right click on the database, click on the task, click on the backup, and then you can choose the type of backup. So I'm saying full backup. You can, if you want to change the location, you can change the location. If you want to compress the backup, you can say compress backup. Compress backup will uh, save your size. I always recommend to take the compress backup. And if you click OK, if you click OK, so here you can see under the D drive, sorry, not under the D drive. So if I go to this particular location, because by default, it is going to take the backup under the the location, this particular location. So if I see here, this particular folder is empty. And if I say click OK, if I click OK, the backup of test database is completed. And here you can see the test.bak file. So by default, SQL Server has taken the backup in test in the back.bak format. This is the name. We did not specify the name, etc. Because in the GUI, it by default, it's selected. So now that we have taken the backup, let's see, let's go ahead and insert two more records in our employee table. So now I'm going to insert two more. So now I, at the end of the day, I have four employees, rock, water, stone, and air. So now I got four employees. These two employees were, were there when we took the backup and these two employees are inserted after taking the backup. Now let's go ahead and see how to restore the database. But before restoring, let's see, someone has by mistake, someone has by mistake dropped your database. So the test database is gone. So let's see, let's, you can see now we do not have the test database. And if I try to run the select star from employee against the test database, the connection is broken. And if I say new query, if I go here, new query, and if I try to select the test database, if I try to select the test database, I would not be able to get the test database. The test database is gone. You can see it's going and you can see here the test database is completely gone. Now let's, you can restore the database using, now we don't have to do this single user mode because this particular database is gone. So we can try to restore the database. So you can use this particular command, restore database, name of your database from disk, location of your backup, and then 
did.bak file. So now our backup is in this particular location. So let's take this particular location and put it here. So this is one option of re restoring your database. The another option is you can right click and I don't want to use this particular option. I'll do show it to you using the GUI. So right click on your databases, click on restore database, click on device, click on these three dots. Let me repeat, right click on the databases, click on restore database, click on the device, click on these three dots, select the location of your backup file. If this particular backup location was different, select that particular location, go to that directory, choose the backup file, your test.bak file, choose that particular backup, click OK, click OK. And if everything looks good, click on OK. And then database is restored, click OK. You can see our database is come back again. And now if I Say so use the test and if I say now I'm going to switch to that particular database and you can see I was able to connect to that particular database and if I say select start from employee we got our two records rock and water back again. Now remember one thing remember one thing is like we don't have the stone and air so the, the records that we inserted after the backup we don't have that. So if you wanted to if you want to know how to do the point in time recovery maybe for the next session but in this particular tutorial we learned how to restore, how to perform a backup, how to perform the restore, how to perform the restore in a using the .bak file in SQL Server. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.